Hey everybody, welcome to the FN Studios. I am John Ramdean alongside my friend Robin Black. And look who's in the studio, Brian Byrne, lead singer of I Mother Earth, uh, talking about a new endeavor, Aus Mentality, trying to help mixed martial arts fighters realize their dream. Uh, for people that don't know, tell us a little bit about Aus Mentality and, and where it came from. So it's a, it's a live one-on-one -on -one conferencing, you know, basically a, a resource hub uh, for athletes, um, strength and conditioning coaches, nutritionists, anything sort of like, you know, under that umbrella in the industry uh, for people to go and, and give advice, offer technique, uh, anything, anything. Um, and the idea originally came from an idea I had for music but wasn't really well received. And so I started, started to develop this with my partner, uh, John Foster. And what we really wanted was to, uh, you know, have a, a, a business that was based on creating a, an extra source of income for guys like that if they were growing their business or they're, you know, just, you know, fighters trying to, you know, pay for everything while they can train. Um, but at the same time, to, to actually really help them. And we went through a couple of different scenarios where, you know, we, we wanted to do a foundation and then we looked at insurance policies and, and that kind of thing. And the, and the, the split was originally 60-20-20. And everybody came back to us and said, well, we, you know, we'd like a bigger cut. And uh, I, I agreed with that. I thought that was a really good idea. I didn't want to be just another, you know, uh, another guy who said he was trying to help and then actually not be that guy. So we, we, we split it 80-20. And now John and I have talked about uh, we're going to have a benevolent fund for fighters, the Fighters Benevolent Fund. Uh, which is 10% of our net, so we don't touch anything that they make to put back into this foundation. So that, you know, if they ha if they need short-term relief, what you know, it could be anything. It could be, uh, you know, they they don't they don't have travel expenses, or they don't have, you know, uh, they they've broken their arm and they can't fight, and they need, you know, six weeks to, you know, of help. Whatever whatever that may be, whatever that thing is, if they're involved, then they'll they'll be able to apply and and get that assistance. Who qualifies? Well, I mean, that'll, you know, obviously depend. I mean, anybody who's involved in, in, in us and, uh, and is, you know, part of it and giving advice and teaching and helping out, uh, but it'll have to be reviewed by the board. And, you know, I, I mean, I, I still want it to be incredibly legitimate and, you know, uh, you know, not just some sort of floating fund where nobody knows where anything's going and stuff like that. My, uh, my wife has a part-time job where she sells vintage clothing. And at one time, she used to have to go to weekend markets and sell clothing. Now Etsy allows her yeah. to sell that service, sell those things anywhere in the world. You can make bracelets, you can do anything, you can sell that so you become part of the global marketplace. Is that kind of the idea here? Absolutely. So that we can take a fighter whose skills and the thing that they sell is their skills and knowledge and give them the chance to do that? Absolutely. I mean, you know, like I, I grew up in a really small town in Newfoundland. and you know, I mean, not a whole lot has changed, uh, and you know, you got kids who have that passion for it, but might not be able to, you know, get get that information or you know, really good information. So through this, they can go online, they can connect with anybody anywhere, um, and uh, you know, like I, I've seen before, you know, you know, some th things that are pre-recorded and put up, you know, for yeah. for technique, whatever, which I I think is great and it's wonderful. But there's there's an interesting thing about having that person live and that sort of being connected to somebody that you really admire and, and you know want to get advice from there's a it 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 it, it seems uh, it seems a little you know it's it's a tangible thing like to be able to talk to whoever it might be you know yeah why is this important to you uh it's important because uh i'm you know i'm a musician uh i've been you know playing with i'm Earth for almost 20 years <laughs> <laughs> it's not, i'm great um uh, and uh, you know, like with a beautiful wife and uh, four kids later, I, you know, I'm still doing this, but it's it's not easy. It's a grind, and um, I the, the 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 parallels between you know the, these athletes and musicians, where you know sometimes it's everything is up, 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 and then you'll hit a point and it's, there's nothing. It bottoms out, and for people to ignore that and just pretend that everything's okay, I, I can't really, you know, I'm not willing to admit that. You know, I I, I work too hard to. You know, to pretend that everything is okay, it's not. You know, like I, I, there there are great times and there are bad times, and I'm ho I'm hoping to, you know, to help out an industry that I really identify with, and and I'm and you know now a sort of a, a new member of, if you will. You know? If you look uh, in the next five years, where do you hope Boss Mentality is? Uh, global and yeah. massive, and doing what <laughs> we said we did. I, I just want it to, you know, I, I don't I don't think the the model 
you know, is, is built so that, you know, we're all going to be filthy rich. I mean, you know, that would be nice. But at the end of the day, I would like to see us do what we set out to do, which is, you know, create that source of income, that alternate source of income for these people, help them grow their businesses so that they can, you know, diversify. I mean, you can't fight forever, you, yeah. you know. You, you, you know, you can't be pretty forever on stage either. Yeah. So if you have these other, these other outlets, you know, um, you can in some capacity do it forever. And then to have access to a fund where if you do get injured or you're whatever that, you know, whatever the scenario is, or you need to do a stint rehab, you know? He so. is Brian Byrne, lead singer of I Mother Earth, the name of the website, Awesome Mentality. Check it out. More Fight News Now Extra is coming your way.